I saw a video of you with with Jay Z working on Ninety Nine Problems, where you suggested acapella, opening the uh, the song with acapella, just no, no instruments, just voice. That to me, I mean, that's one of the characteristics of the things uh, of the ways you've brought out the best in artist is doing less, sort of the uh, tending towards simplicity in some kind of way. So that 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 choice of acapella is really interesting because like I could see a lot of people think that that's a bad idea, but it turned out to be a really powerful idea. Can you maybe talk about the simplicity, how to find simplicity, why you find simplicity is beautiful? It does appear to be beautiful. What is that? Yeah, I, I don't know where it comes from. It it has been with me from the beginning of my work. The very first um, album I ever produced the credit I took was reduced by me instead of produced by me um, for that reason. Like, I, I like the idea of getting to the essential. And I, I, I have a better idea now that I've done it for a while, but at the time it was purely an instinctual thing. And part of it is a sonic. There's a sonic benefit, which is the less elements you have, uh, you can hear each of the ones that are there and they can sound better. And the less there are, the more um, the more space they could have around them and the more you can hear their personality. If you were to record <clears throat> 10 people playing the same guitar part and you listen to it, it would sound like guitar. And if you play record one person playing a guitar part, it sounds like a person playing the guitar. It's different than just guitar. And the... Uh, Often in the studio, the idea of building upon things and adding adding layers to thicken, to make it sound bigger, sometimes um, the more things you add, the smaller it gets. So it's a, it's a, a lot of it is counterintuitive until you just in practice see what, what works. To try it, to try yeah. removing stuff until it's just right. It's the Einstein thing, make it, uh, make it as simple as possible, but not simpler. That's such a, like finding a stopping place, just keep chopping away and chopping away. Yeah, there's something we, we also like to do called the ruthless edit, which is, let's say you're at a point where <clears throat> it can work for anything, but I'll give you the example with an album. Um, we've recorded 25 songs. We think the album's gonna have 10. Instead of picking our favorite 10, we limit it to what are the five or six that we can't live without. So going past even the goal to get to the real like heart of it and then see, okay, we have these five or six that we can't live without. Now, what would we add to that that makes it better and not worse? And um, it's just, a, it, it, it puts you in a different frame when you start with building instead of removing. And you might find that there's nothing you need to add. Sometimes. Sometimes something happens when you get to the real essence. Then when you start adding things back, it becomes clear that it was just supposed to be this, this tight little thing. <laughs> 